Hello everyone, I'm Nisa Works and today is December the 6th and from now on I decided to face my fears and talk to the camera I mean talking to you guys face to face but it's actually talking to the camera which is very weird for me at first but I hope I will get along and get used to it and it will be fine <laughs> So what I've been uh, working on today is I was animating a logo, uh, well first making it and then animating it. It's a logo for a new vlog that I'm making also with my partner which is called Fine Lifestyle. It's about the lifestyle that we're having uh, in between the city and the campsite and it's more related to lifestyle. Uh, not about art like I'm doing this one which is called traveling artists so it will be pretty deep. so stay tuned to see what I've been doing up so far have a good one you can see in those buildings over there the sun is shining you cannot see the sun from here because it's in the other part of the building but it's so beautiful look at that it's so pretty November started with an awesome trip to Berlin, so here I am at the airport sketching because what can you do while waiting for the airplane? A few years ago I wanted to move to Berlin because I felt like this is a very big playground for artists and you can find art at every corner you look so it was what I was looking for at that time and for me it was just perfect. Revisiting some of the places that I've been to and uh, seeing a lot of art and how people express themselves through art was like the spark that I needed for um, finding that motivation to draw draw and draw so when i came home i was very motivated and it was like one of the most productive months that i had in art so far like this year <laughs> it wasn't only art that inspired me it was also playing because as i said earlier berlin is a very big playground and i definitely recommend that you visit this place at least once in your lifetime Coming home, I started working on ongoing projects that I had, like making an after movie for an event that we had at the campsite. And not only that, I started drawing a lot and I started practicing in color pencil, in ink, in... I even went back to watercolor that I haven't used in months. I just wanted to create and create and create and it was for the first time in a long time that I wasn't so hard on myself. Usually I have to make the perfect painting so I can share it with you guys or with anyone else. And this time I was like, no, I just want to paint and draw and it doesn't matter how it looks. And it's 
it's about time I started working on this month's Patreon reward. And this postcard uh, is inspired by this vlog actually and it's called Traveling Artist. I wanted to share with you guys the whole process of making this postcard. It's very different from the uh, last month's postcard because that one was completely digital and this one is uh, made in ink and then watercolor and colored pencils and then I had to scan it and after I scan it I made the final retouches in Procreate and then I printed it and you can see the final result at the end. Another project that I'm working on and I really love it's an illustrated book for children. It's about essential oils and I'm making all the illustrations and designing the book. And some of my friends, they are making the text. And I can show you more of it, but here you can see me working on the cover. And stay tuned because I hope that in, I don't know, maybe in the first months of next year, will be able to print it and you can see like the whole thing and whole project and I can assure you it's pretty awesome. Yep, you guessed it. Those are the Patreon rewards for this month and I had a lot of fun making it. And I really want to thank you again for all the Patreons and those who decided to subscribe to my Patreon. And each time I think about it, it's like a dream come true. And I put a lot of thought and a lot of love in each envelope that I send. Because I'm very excited to have people that care for my art and people that want to see what I do and people that are interested in what I do. And if you want to subscribe to my Patreon, you can find the link in the description box and I would be very excited to have you in this community. And of course, thank you again. It's like a dream come true, as I said earlier. I don't think you can imagine how it is to live in two places, in one in the campsite and one in the city, because there are completely different views and different vibes that you have. And for example, my cat Mooncake lives in the campsite and I see her um, once a week because I spend the weekends in the campsite. And sometimes if I have to prepare some events and I have to be there, I am going during the week. But most of the time during the week, I am in my studio or traveling. So it's a very interesting mix of uh, living, let's say. When it comes to what I create, I like to experiment a lot. I don't use the same medium or uh, the same technique. I like to explore and that's why I don't use just watercolor or color pencil or oils or whatever you name it. I like to experiment and in time I get better at things. 
maybe I'm not the best in watercolor or the best in ink but I like to combine those things and I don't like to get stuck on one medium so that's why you see me uh, use a lot of mediums while I paint or draw I thought of ending this vlog with me playing the piano for you guys. I'm not a pro, so enjoy the video and see you next time. Bye! again.